Hello. Today Road to GH reveals a shocking event. Tracy witnessed Sonny shooting and killing John. This event not only left her in awe, but also opened up a promising opportunity for her, a chance to use this murder to achieve her personal ambitions. Tracy has always been a calculating, scheming woman, willing to do anything to protect the interests of the Quartermain family. When she saw Sonny raise his gun and shoot John right on the deck at the Q Mansion, she wasn't shaken or confused. Instead, a plan immediately formed in her mind. She didn't call the police, nor did she reveal to anyone what she had witnessed. Instead, Tracy decided to keep this secret as a trump card to use when the time was right. Upon returning to the Quartermain Mansion, Tracy immediately began crafting a detailed plan to use this murder as a tool for power. She understood that Sonny was a powerful figure in Port Charles, and holding on to this secret meant she could control a part of Sonny's life. For Tracy, nothing was more important than power and the ability to manipulate others. And this murder was the perfect opportunity for her to gain absolute control. Tracy started by silently approaching Sonny, maintaining her usual cold and confident demeanor. She didn't need to spell things out, just a few subtle hints were enough for Sonny to understand that she had witnessed everything. Sonny, a seasoned player of power games, quickly realized that Tracy was not a woman to be trifled with. He knew that she not only wanted to keep silent about the murder, but also desired much more. Tracy began making demands. At first, she sought financial support from Sonny to resolve the Quartermain family's issues, but she didn't stop there. She wanted more. She wanted Sonny to side with her in her grand schemes, from manipulating power in Port Charles to protecting her family's financial interests. With the information she held, Tracy knew Sonny had no choice but to agree to her terms. Gradually, Tracy began using this information as a tool to control Sonny. She demanded his help in toppling her rivals, ensuring the Quartermain family remained the most powerful in Port Charles. Every time Sonny considered refusing or opposing her, Tracy only needed to remind him of the murder she had witnessed, forcing him to comply. However, Tracy didn't stop there. She also planned to create more challenges for Sonny. She knew that not only Sonny but Carly Spencer would be gravely affected if the murder was exposed. This further boosted Tracy's confidence, as she now had two aces up her sleeve. She could destroy both Sonny and Carly's lives by revealing what she knew, but she wasn't in a hurry to do so. Tracy's maneuvers didn't just stop at manipulating Sonny. She also quietly plotted to push Sonny into increasingly difficult situations, making him more and more dependent on her. By creating obstacles in Sonny's business and personal life, Tracy forced him to continually seek her support and protection, all while she subtly pulled the strings from behind the scenes. The situation grew more complicated when Ned, Tracy's son, began to suspect his mother's strange actions. Ned didn't know exactly what his mother had done, but he sensed that something was wrong. Ned had always respected his mother, but he was also someone who knew right from wrong. If Ned discovered the truth about Tracy's manipulation of Sonny and her exploitation of the murder for personal gain, would he be able to forgive her? Meanwhile, Sonny was also feeling increasing pressure. He knew that every wrong move could lead Tracy to expose his secret. Sonny had to be more cautious than ever, not just in dealing with Tracy, but also in protecting himself from the risk of being found out. The tension between Sonny and Tracy was mounting, as both were power players who would never accept defeat. As dark secrets and ruthless schemes began to unfold, the power struggle between Tracy and Sonny promised to become an intense and dangerous battle. Tracy not only wanted to control Sonny, but also sought to seize all power in Port Charles, and she was willing to do anything to achieve that goal, even if it meant destroying those around her. With Tracy witnessing the murder and using the situation to manipulate Sonny, the story has become more complex and dramatic. She is not just a witness, but an active player in the power game, plotting to bring down Sonny and consolidate power for herself.